Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one. So I am so excited to do this video because I have been holding off on trying all of my new Lisa Eldridge lipsticks for this video, all except one. So if you want to see me try on the eight shades that I purchased, keep on watching. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So I'm sure you're seeing reviews pop up all over the place about the new Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. She did release some new shades in her luxuriously lucent lipsticks, as well as her insanely saturated lipsticks. So quick story on how I got started with Lisa Eldridge is I have a friend here on YouTube named Al Feisty and she does luxury YouTube. She had an extra velvet decade um, that was released last year at the time. Uh, those velvet shades were being released. I didn't know who Lisa Eldridge was, but people were tagging me like, are you getting these? Are you getting it? And I was like, no, I, I, I didn't really understand. So Velvet Decade came and I really loved it. It's not an everyday shade for me because it's really deep brown. But then I ended up purchasing quite a few of the Velvet lipsticks and I really, really love them, especially Velvet Affair. Got my hands on Velvet Cinnabar this year and that's, that's how it all began. So when Lisa announced the release or reveal of these new shades in a different formula, I definitely wanted to try it. So. I have eight shades. I did not plan on getting eight. And then I asked my boyfriend his opinion of some shades. And then I was like, I don't know if I'm really gonna wear these. And he's like, you didn't get new wave. And I was like, no. And then I went back and got <laughs> new wave and rainbow spill. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and just try these on in this video. Let me know what you think about the shades that I chose. Right now, I believe all of the new shades are still in stock except Les Mepri, which I'm a little upset that I didn't buy because that was one of the main ones that was on my list. I just was like, you know, I have a lot of those nudie beige lipstick colors and I just wanted to try something different. Let's start with the luxuriously lucent lipsticks. I'm going to try to go from lightest uh, to deepest. I think that will make the most sense and then we'll get into the insanely saturated. So the luxuriously lucent ones, I think are lipsticks that you will probably be able to find, you know, in other brands. They are a creamy, balmy formula and they're sheer, but they're buildable. Now the debate is, you know, how pigmented can you get these? Because if you look at the models, these look really, really pigmented. Now from me trying the one shade that I've worn, which I think is in my purse, meet me in Berlin. I don't feel like these are super long lasting. So it might not be something that you want to pay $36 for. But the first shade we're going to start with is the shade Je ne sais quoi, which is the one I just showed you. And this is it right here. And that's kind of how it looks with one layer. Now let's build it up a little more. Here's the shade. I really, really like this shade. It is a beautiful coral. I think this is one you might want to wear a liner with. I think I could do it either way, but leaning towards a liner with this one, it is really, really pretty. And this is trying to think of other shades I may have in my lipstick collection. I'm sure there's one somewhere, but given the fact that I don't do a lot of like bold colors or like um, any like red leaning colors, I think this one's going to be pretty unique. All right, let's move on. Next up we have Meet Me in Berlin. And that's what it looks like. And just so you can see, that's how sheer it is with just one swipe. So I'm going to build this up. Mm -hmm. 
and here it is built up let me know what you think about this one this shade is like an everyday go-to shade i think that this is going to be like one i'm going to use a lot yes it's just a beautiful kind of nude brown color it's gonna go with pretty much anything so this is meet me in berlin okay the next shade is the shade wonder wheel and this is a beautiful vibrant pink so there's one kind of one coating And there it is built up and this is a wonder wheel i surprisingly really really like this one hmm. let me know your thoughts now last up for the luxuriously lucent shades is the deepest one and this is the shade night thoughts and this is what it looks like now i usually don't go for shades this deep so we're gonna go ahead and see what we think about this one So here's one layer, which I really, really like. And I don't think there's gonna be a harsh line between my natural lip color and the lipstick. Let's build it up. And here it is built up. So I really like this one too. Now I'm thinking about doing a liner with this one for sure, just because I would really want this to last and just by me wearing meet me in berlin that one time i know it doesn't and i don't want it to look all faded because i feel like when you have on like those deep colors they don't necessarily fade as gracefully like you can see that you had something on you know what i mean i don't know if that makes sense so mm, i like this color and as far as what these lipsticks feel like they're very comfortable they feel like a lip balm they really do. They're not sticky or anything like that. One of the things that I love about the Lisa Eldridge website is how she shows how these shades look on all different skin tones. I think that's great. And I can definitely say that these four that I've just tried look great on every tone. So it's really nice to pick out your lipstick and be able to see what someone similar to your skin complexion will look like with the lipstick on. I just, I love that she does that on her site. So, all right, those are the four luxuriously lucent lipsticks that I, I purchased. Let me know what you think about these, which ones were your faves. Ah, let's see. Meet Me in Berlin is going to definitely be a go-to, which was this uh, lighter brown. That's definitely an everyday for me. But I really like Je ne sais quoi. I like them all. I really do. Yeah, this one's great. That coral. I really liked Wonder Wheel way more than I thought. And I feel like on Lisa, it looked more orangey pink, if I'm thinking correctly. But I, I think this color is great. So I, I like them all, no regrets. So now I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna try on the four insanely saturated lipsticks. All right, we are back and now it's time to try the insanely saturated lipsticks. Now when I look at this, it looks similar to the velvet lipstick formula and i believe that these are mattes but they are creamier than the velvet formula so let's get into these first up is the shade sunday matinee and i remember her saying that she named it sunday matinee because it's just a very easy going shade so that's one swipe so yeah, definitely, you know, a lot more pigment than the lucent ones. Oh yeah, these feel really good. Definitely similar to the velvet uh, lipstick formula. Wow, yeah, I love this. Really creamy. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like this. So this is Sunday Matinee. This is gorgeous. Mm, let me know what y'all think. Okay, I'm going out of order here because I don't want to wait. We have New Wave. Oh my gosh. And there's what it looks like. I think she describes this as a magenta. Mm. 
and we can stop right there. Like that's one layer. You only really need two. This is gorgeous. All right, so there is new wave. Oh, Lisa. Hmm. All right, let me know your thoughts. All right, you guys, so next up, we are going to look at Rainbow Spill. And there she is. This almost looks neon. This is pretty. Okay, y'all, Rainbow Spill. I'm thinking about this one with a liner, right? What do y'all think? This is really, really vibrant. So, you know, I definitely picked some shades that are totally out of my comfort zone. And that's why I didn't do like any type of heavy eyeshadow today because I just wanted to see, I mean, these lipsticks I think are definitely the hero of the look, maybe except for Meet Me in Berlin and Sunday Matinee. But the rest of them are definitely the hero of the makeup look for me. So this is gorgeous too. So far, I have no regrets, and we have the shade I've been really, really excited to try next, which is gonna be Strawberry Shock. All right, you guys, so last but not least, I have the shade Strawberry Shock. I think this is, like I said, the one I was so excited to try the most. And there she is. All right, this is my favorite, I think, of the insanely saturated ones. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is gorgeous. Oh. All right, y'all. So that's really all I have for this video. I just wanted to try these on and just show you what they look like, you know, with my skin tone and let you know <laughs> this is my first reaction. So I'm really, really happy and I'm excited to kind of get out of my comfort zone and try some different shades. I like them all. I really do. I don't have one where I'm like, ah, it's okay. I think the only thing I'm gonna be deciding on is which one to wear and whether or not I wanna wear it with a liner or not. But no regrets on any of my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. They are great. And I plan to be wearing these for the foreseeable future, you know? Mm. Now, out of the two formulas, I think I like the insanely saturated. Uh, you don't have to work as hard to get the pigment that you want, like to get the full pigment. And this is gonna last way longer than the Lucent lipsticks. I did find myself having to reapply Meet Me in Berlin a lot. And again, that's the only one that I wore, you know, for a day. So I did have to reapply it often, but I also didn't really care. You know what I mean? The lipstick feels really, really good on. So if you like matte lipsticks, I mean, I think that the Velvet lipsticks by Lisa Eldridge, I think those are a great choice. And I think these are too. These just seem to be, I don't know, just, I guess, insanely saturated. <laughs> I know it sounds corny, but like you really didn't have to work to get this bright pigment. It is, I, I don't really have the words. I think that if you want to try Lisa Eldridge, I don't think you would regret any lipstick that you purchase from her. I've also heard that her lip glosses are really nice as well. I have not tried those yet, but I heard those are great. I do have several of her lip pencils. They are really long lasting and they do extend the wear of the lipstick in my opinion. So yeah, all in all, great brand. Now, don't get me wrong. Can we find dupes in other places? I'm certain that you can. Um, um, I think that there's not much out here in the, the makeup world that cannot be duped. You know what I mean? But this is this is great i i have no regrets and i'm not going around trying to find a dupe um, i'm gonna go ahead with these see this makes me want skyscraper rose because i feel like that's the only one i'm missing anyway y'all that's all i have for this video 
Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me. <sighs> I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. So until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe and I will see y'all really soon. Bye. Go on, block your